Mike White gave the perfect answer about leadership, and I wanted to talk about it. Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video. And today I wanted to talk about Mike White and his answer about leadership and connecting with his team. Before we get started today, I just want to mention where you can follow me, social media, at Matt O'Leary and why. And if you haven't already, please make sure to check out the Just Jets podcast. All right, so Mike White has been the starting quarterback now for the last couple of weeks, and he gave a good answer, at least an answer that I liked and I think is worthwhile to share. So uh, Zach Rosenblatt tweeted it out. Um, he says Mike White was asked about the importance of his of connecting with his teammates as a quarterback slash leader. And I think his response gives a good window into why his Jets teammates like him so much. And this is the quote that he had to say. It's a little bit long, but bear with me. I think it's worthwhile to mention. He says, I think that's the best part about football, the camaraderie of it in the locker room and hanging out with the guys. Not a lot of people get to go to work, hang out and play a sport for a living. So while I'm doing it, I know I'm going to try my best to get to know everybody, enjoy it, mess around with them, talk some crap on the football field, and then come out here, meaning the locker room, play some dominoes, cards, and just hang out. I just generally enjoy that part. When you develop relationships that way, then you go out on the field and that comes to life and you could build on it. I will say this about Mike White. I have no idea if he is going to be the answer at the quarterback position. I have no idea if he's the franchise guy. I do know he played really good football this past week against the Bears, and he's obviously someone that his teammates really like and respect. You see the um, the reactions uh, from his teammates, and everyone talks so highly of him, and I don't want to make this out to be a Mike White versus Zach Wilson thing. That's not the point of this video. I know that's where the comments are going to go, but that's not the point. I just want to – are we allowed to do that? Can I – praise Mike White about something that he said and did that I like, and it doesn't have to be made about the other guy and vice versa. But anyway, uh, I, I think that's a really good attitude to have. And especially for someone in a backup role too, for the majority of pretty much his entire career, he's been uh, essentially a, a backup, but the connection um, with your teammates, I do think is important. Chemistry is an underrated part of sports in general and, and all sports, football, hockey, basketball, baseball, you know, all the major sports. And I think that's something that's something that's lost a little bit. And I don't want to go full old man yelling at the cloud here, but I think sometimes we get too deep into looking at uh, statistics and analytics and, you know, a, a ton without looking at the human element to the game because there is a human element here. Um, and like, I don't, I don't know, just I, I thought it was worthwhile to, to mention that. I don't know if that makes sense, but to me in my head, it made sense. I, I wanted to put it out there that like, I don't know, chemistry matters and having a feel for if you know someone personally and you know how they are and then you do it on the field every day and you have that connection with them, it's easier to work with that person because you're friendly with them. Think about it. Any work environment you've ever been in in your entire life, isn't it easier when you get along with your coworkers and you like being around them? It makes a big difference. And that kind of, again, goes back to original, your whole original point here. It all comes together. The culture that Robert Sala and Joe Douglas are building. That, ter or that term, culture, gets thrown around a lot. Uh, it it throws, gets thrown around a lot, but uh, we, we heard it. Jamal Adams was going to be the culture changer, and then the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because of what I'm going to say, but Adam Gaze was going <laughs> to Adam Gaze was going to bring in his own culture. <laughs> That's still really funny. I can't even get that out without laughing. Uh, that did not go very well, um, shockingly, with Joel Adams, Adam Gaze, and Le'Veon Bell, and uh, on and on and on and on. It did not go very well. But this Jets team is young for the for the most part. There are some veterans in there, but they're also really likable and like. Again, like I said, is Mike White the long-term answer? I have no idea. But he seems like a very likable guy. His teammates like him. I love the answers that he gives, and I think he carries himself uh, well, extremely well. So I'm rooting for the guy. I want him to play well because I want the Jets to win as many football games as humanly possible. But interesting quote, and I think it's a good perspective from him, and I wanted to share that with you. So let me know your thoughts down below. Get after me on social media. Once again, I am Matt O'Leary. I'll talk to you next time.